Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. So one month ago we started a new experiment to find the best possible substrate for a planted tank. Since then a lot of you guys have been asking for an update, so here it is. But before I show you guys how the tanks are looking right now, let's do a quick little recap and let's go through everything that happened in the past 30 days. Now in order for this experiment to work, we needed six separate compartments. So I had to modify the two tanks a little bit and add some dividers. It was my first time cutting glass and using silicone, but everything went pretty smooth. 24 hours later it was time to prepare all the different substrates and here's what we used. Compartment number 1 got 1 kilo of Aqua Rio Neo soil, which is my personal favorite brand of aqua soil. Number 2 got 1 kilo of Fluval Stratum, which is very popular in the US. And number 3 got 1 kilo of Rio Wetland Ionian, which is a new substrate and is basically just crushed lava rock with added nutrients. Number 4 got 300 grams of pond soil, capped with a layer of inert gravel. Number 5 got 4 masterline root caps that are sprinkled along the bottom. And I covered that with the same gravel. And number six got 300 grams of pond soil capped with 500 grams of Tropica powder soil. All six compartments then got the same number of plants and were all filled with plain tap water. No CO2 was added, no filter was added and no liquid fertilizer, obviously. Just the light which is the Chiros A2 series set to 70% intensity. During the first few days I did a 50% water change almost every single day just to get rid of some of the excess nutrients. Now because we're not using CO2, things were moving very slowly, so I only took progress pictures every couple of days. It is time for our first update on our substrate experiment. It's now been 15 days and uh, things are developing definitely. I'm just about to do a little cleaning session because we're starting to get some algae, especially in tank number 5. But let's start at the beginning with tank number 1. So this is the Acorio Neo soil. And as you can see, this tank has a little bit of green dust algae on the glass. So the glass panels are a little bit greenish, um, but the plant's looking healthy, so that's good. We had, we're getting decent growth here. Uh, tank number two, fluval stratum, looking a lot more cleaner, as you can see, like there's quite a big difference. So yeah, tank number two has virtually no algae, and the Ludwiga Super Red is looking really, really vibrant here. I like that. So that's nice. And then tank number three is looking very similar to tank number two. Also decent plant growth. Yeah, little to no algae issues, so that's good. Then moving on to this side. So these two tanks, four and five, are starting to get a lot of brown algae. So that's interesting. I think it's because of the, uh, the white sand. We get more light reflecting. And maybe there's also some uh, extra silicate in, those, uh, in that sand. Maybe that's also affecting the water chemistry a little bit and generating more algae, I guess. And because of that, the, the plants are also looking a little bit sad. I mean, they're definitely growing, but because they're a little bit covered in algae, they just don't look as healthy. And then lastly, tank number six, pond soil and aqua soil. And this one is actually looking pretty good. So the background plant, the Meriophyllum matogrossense, is looking, yeah, the biggest out of all six tanks, I guess. So it's looking good. Getting some really good plant growth, also very minimal algae, so yeah. Looking really good so far. Okay, time for another update. We are now at day 21. So we're officially three weeks into this experiment. So that means it's only been six days since the previous update. So in terms of plant growth, everything is still looking sort of the same. In terms of algae growth, not really though. I mean, tank number five, the algae is just getting a lot worse. And tank number six is definitely taking off. Look at that uh, plant in the background. Now I'm really curious what the nutrient levels are in each single compartment. So I'm going to grab my test kit, I'm going to start doing some tests. I think nitrate, phosphate, maybe do a pH test as well. So first up the pH test. This one is always a bit hard to read because there's such a small differences between each color. Like you have light green, slightly darker green, and then there's like three different shades of blue. So this was the last one. It's like, yeah, what is it? Is it seven and a half? Is it seven? Is it eight? It's always very difficult, but there was definitely differences in color. So I wrote down the results. So tank number one, Aquario Neo soil was pH 8. Then Fluval Stratum was 7.5. The Wio substrate was 8. And then four pond soil and gravel was 8.5. Root caps and gravel was 8. And then the last one, pond soil, I think it's 7. Pond soil and aqua soil. Yeah, let's move on to nitrate. Okay, nitrate test done as well. This one is a bit easier to read. Much bigger differences as well. Here's tank number five and tank number six. So results, tank number one, it had 50 milligrams per liter. Two and three had both zero. 
Tank number four had 10, five all the way through the roof. You can see the clear red color, 100 milligrams per liter, and tank number six is at 25. So yeah, uh, interesting results. Let's move on to phosphate. Okay, phosphate test done as well. These were all very, very similar. So these are the last four, so three, four, five, and six. So as you can see, the last two are a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they're all so similar. I was expecting, because number tank number five had very high nitrates, I was expecting the phosphates to be high as well, but this is weird. Kind of make me wonder if I did the test properly. Well, there's no really way to, to mess it up, so I should be right. So we basically only have big differences in the nitrate levels in each tank. And it kind of makes sense with the results that we're seeing. So tank number one has pretty high nitrates. And because of that, we're getting decent plant growth, but also quite a lot of algae on the glass. Uh, two and three have very little algae, and they also have very little nitrates. Then tank number four also had very little nitrates. Um, yeah, but we're getting not really very good plant growth. Tank number five nitrates were through the roof, and that shows in a lot of algae. And tank number six had uh, 25 milligrams of nitrates. And yeah, looks good. Good plant growth, very little algae. So this one seems to be uh, going well so far. Right, back to the present time. That was the full recap. So I think it's already quite obvious which tank has the best plant growth. So number six with the Ponso and the Aquasol. Quite a big difference, but mainly with the Meriophyllum, the green stem plant. I mean, all the other plants looking good as well, but in terms of growth, they're not that different from some of the other tanks. So let's kind of go over every single compartment in a little bit more detail. So starting with number one, the Aqua Rio Neo soil. Uh, this is the subset that I use pretty much all the time in all my tanks. And I'm getting really, really good results with it. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the current situation in this tank. Um, yeah, I was just expecting a little bit better growth, but I think I know what the problem is here. So as we saw from those test results, this soil is releasing a lot of nutrients. That's why I'm always having really good results with it, even without the addition of liquid fertilizer. But if you remember, I'm also using a lot of CO2 injection in most of my tanks. So because of the addition of CO2, the plants are able to grow faster and really keep up with those high levels of nutrients. In this tank compartment, we don't have CO2 injection, so the plants are not able to grow as fast and are not able to consume all those excess nutrients. So that's why right now the nutrients levels are building up to a point where it's starting to cause algae and actually some melt as well. Yeah, as you can see, some of the Ludwigia super red is now starting to melt. And I think that's because of the high nutrient levels in this tank. I'm not sure, but I think that's what's causing it. But yeah, long story short, I think the Aqua Rio Neosol is better suited for tanks with CO2 injection, just so the plants can keep up with those, uh, those high nutrient levels. Then moving on to number two, the Fluval Stratum. Well, this one has really surprised me, to be honest. It was the first time using it. And I mean, this one was crystal clear from day one. I haven't really seen any algae in here. And the plants are looking super healthy as well. As we saw from the test here, the nutrient levels were quite low. But I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means that you need to supplement it a little bit with some more liquid fertilizer. But yeah, I think the Neosol is better for tanks with CO2 injection. And I think this one actually is very good for low-tech tanks without CO2 injection. Yeah, just look at how healthy all the plants are. I mean, the Ludwiga Super Red is really vibrant. The Meriophyllum is nice and green as well. The, uh, yeah, all the other plants are just looking good. Then tank number three with the new Rio substrate. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this one. I think I had really high expectations for it, especially kind of with the way they described it on the website. Like ultra rich soil with all the macro and micronutrients, but I don't know it just didn't really show up on the on the tests either. And I mean plant growth has just been very average. I mean things are growing and in general kind of looking quite healthy, but yeah, I was just expecting a bit more. We also have quite a bit of algae on the glass. Mm, not bad, but not great either. Then number four, Ponzo and Gravel. This one is not looking great and the plant growth has been very average as well and we have a lot of algae. I actually cleaned the tank two days ago so it was a lot worse than this as well but I think in this case the white sand actually um, made the tank too bright so because of the, the white sand there was too much light which caused some algae and yeah it just hasn't really done anything good for this tank. We actually have some blue green algae in here as well now. So yeah, not great, but uh, it can always be worse. So tank number five is definitely worse. I mean, the majority of the plants are just covered in algae and starting to melt as well. So I think this tank we can just, uh, yeah, this one is just completely done. I think it's my fault. I probably just uh, used too many of those root caps. I should have just used two instead of four because we saw the, the test results here. The nitrates were absolutely through the roof. 
I don't think I've ever seen a, nit seen a nitrate test be this vibrant red. So yeah, just way too many nutrients and that's what, that's what happens. We actually have a lot of weird bugs in here as well. Some weird <laughs> black worms. Never seen those before. So yeah, tank number five is done. So that leaves us with tank number six, the Ponzo and Aquasol. And yeah, this, this one is just looking good. Like you can actually even see the plants purling right now. The lights have only been on for like, I don't know, I think 30 minutes or so. So plants are already purling. That's uh, interesting. All right, so tank number six has the best plant growth so far. Does that mean it's the best substrate for a plant tank? I don't know. I think it's very hard to answer that question. I think a lot of it depends just on personal preference. I think it depends what kind of setup you're running. If you're doing a high tech setup or a low tech setup or a real aquascape or just a simple planted tank. I think it's difficult to answer that question. So that leaves me wondering, what do we do now? Do we keep this experiment going? Do we start something new? I think I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments what we should do next or if we should just, should just keep it going. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.